Hello everyone, so today we have another canister filter cleaning video and today I'm going to clean uh, Eheim Classic 250. I've had this particular filter for almost two years and it's been working great actually, I had no issues with it. Uh, it's not the smallest and not the largest of Classic um, filter series. I think there is also 125 which is smaller than this one and there is also 600 that's larger than this one and this is a medium sized canister filter designed for aquariums I uh, think uh, between 150 and 250 liters uh, I would recommend it for fish tanks uh, no larger than probably 150 liters well it depends on how much media you can put inside I have about 2 kg of media inside so now we're going to start our cleaning process so first I'm going to switch it off I'm going to disconnect it from power like so then I'm gonna turn off both inlet and outlet pipes uh, it might be leaking a bit and the next one it's a bit of a challenge to get it out of here but I'll get it done So here it is and now I will try to open it but before I will open it I have to let the water come out from the pipes like so I'll just try to get as much water as possible and now we can unlock it which is quite straightforward Put the head inside, we'll wash it a bit later. So, on top of it, I have some filter wool, and it's quite dirty. I'll wash it in tank water, and as the case uh, with uh, all classic filters, Eheim classic filters, it has only one basket and it has just one tray so you can fill it with whatever media you like originally Eheim sells this filter filter filled half with coarse sponges and they leave about this much space for you to add whatever media you like to add what I've done I've removed all the sponges because I don't see any purpose in them and instead filled it all up with media it's a mixture between uh, high quality ceramic rings lava rock and alpha grok uh, poor ceramic media. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in tank water and I'm gonna wash it. So essentially it's quite easy to clean I just have to shake it like this and because most of this media is quite large it doesn't really hold anything in there it doesn't get clogged easily and you can see it's already almost clean yeah it's clean I'll leave it here for now so what I have on the bottom of the filter you can't see it because it's dirty I have another layer of sponge and it's actually medium coarse sponge it didn't come with a Haim I just made it myself because there is a space under the tray so there's an opportunity to put something in there so we're going to clean the head it's not too dirty because, because I cleaned it relatively recently. So to clean inside we need to remove this part here. It's a bit broken here but that's alright. It doesn't really change things. And I always clean impellers because they always collect a, collect a lot of dirt. Again, you have to be really careful with your impeller 
because it's really easy to break it as soon as the ceramic part is damaged your filter is going to make a lot of noise and you will have to replace your impeller and it doesn't really cost much but they're not particularly cheap either so I'm going to use a brush for cleaning bottles to clean inside the impeller area and to clean all these parts here I'll also use it to clean uh, the pipe it's relatively clean today Final wash. And go. Uh, first of all, we will put the impeller back. Yes. Then I'll we'll have to wash the sink as well. we'll put this small lead back like this. And this is a final sink to be added. So it has to click so that you know that it's closed. Get the water out. Check whether the O-ring is properly attached. That's a O-ring. So the next step is to put everything back. As you can see, uh, the basket is clean and it's empty. So on the bottom of it, of this basket, I will put a semi-coarse sponge. There is actually space for it. I've cut this into this kind of pieces, so it fits better on the bottom of the basket. So it's going to be like this. Then I'll put the basket with media. And on top of it, I'll put some filter wool. Essentially, there's quite a lot of space here and it's not designed to be covered with anything. Probably except some uh, carbon pad or something like that, but I will use it for this filter wool to trap all the finest particles of muck and dirt. So it's gonna look like this. So basically I haven't used any of the original uh, high media that did come with this filter so that allowed me to save some space for for extra media and we're going to close it now I just have to make sure that it seats properly uh, yes uh, you just push it down like this and you lock it have to make sure that all of these small locks are closed if they're not and you turn it on uh, the head is likely to come off and it will start leaking so now once it's installed I'm gonna open the inlet pipe to let the water in And the outlet pipe. And the filter started filling with water. Actually I haven't cleaned the pipes so that's why I didn't have to prime it all over again because uh, a Heim Classic doesn't have a self-priming mechanism so if you have cleaned your pipes you'll have to prime it yourself. And in my case, I haven't cleaned the pipes because they were not too dirty, so I've decided to keep them untouched. And because there was some water inside the pipes, once I open uh, the inlet and uh, outlet uh, taps, uh, the water just drives more water inside the filter and it just fills up automatically and it primes automatically. So it doesn't ha really have to be primed manually. The next thing is to turn it on. Uh, 
and it doesn't seem to have too much air trapped inside so it started working straight away it's relatively quiet and it will get even quieter so basically that's it it's quite easy to clean uh, a Heim classic type of filters uh, they're really low maintenance filters they're very efficient very quiet you can see that it still hasn't pushed all of the bubbles from inside but it's already very quiet it hardly makes any noise and it will get even quieter in a moment yeah so mm, until the next filter cleaning video